Jen Uary is all about you. <laughs> Eating healthier in 2018. Yeah, that's right. We're going to eat healthier in 2018 for at least two weeks. <laughs> but how do you crush your cravings? How? How, Ryan? Yeah, I don't know. I'm looking forward okay, to it. Okay, here to give us some tips is the author of Eat Clean, Stay Lean, mm -hmm. Dr. Wendy Bazillion. Hi. 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 Good to see you. Nice to meet yeah. you. Nice to meet you, too. This lady is a walking billboard oh. for her own books. She well, really is. Well, thank you so much. And no matter what diet we're choosing, you know, there's one thing that we have in common, and it's cravings. And we're mm. going to crush them today. And okay. that's really the goal. We don't want to become Janu weary, if right. you know what I mean. Ah. More than two weeks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we're eating uh, 22 of these a day in sugar. And a lot of us are really faced with sugar cravings. And there are a lot of strategies that you can really take. Fruit may not seem to be what you're looking for when you are thinking about a cookie, but things like frozen grapes, mm. they really bump up the sweetness. Or you put a little cinnamon and ginger on some fresh fruit, it actually draws out some of the sweet flavor or fruit compote. Ah, okay. how the nice. The secret weapon for sweet cravings, I swear to you, is sour flavor in your day. So eating a lemon is not going to cure your sugar craving at the moment, but if you incorporate more lemons, grapefruit, pickles, tart cherries, Granny Smith apples throughout your day, according to traditional Chinese medicine, it controls and balances sugar cravings. Somebody right. said tart cherries help you sleep, too. Is that true? Also, yes, there oh, are some, some chemicals that. in tart cherries for sleep. Right. Well. Right. Exactly. Um, another reason to eat your leafy greens there's been some research that suggests that spinach and extracts of spinach can help curb sugar cravings. Okay. Ryan, Ryan drinks things I like, like that. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, green <laughs> drinks and greens. Salty. Yeah. The number one way to curb your salty cravings. We're salty. Herbs and spices. Okay. No mm -hmm. question about it. You can train yourself. We only need a quarter teaspoon a day. You can train yourself down by making a super spice Herbs snack Herbs and mix. spices makes me think of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Go ahead. All right. Sorry. Off topic. Off topic. Off topic. And, and my fabulous recipe on your website for your super spice trail mix. Please dive in if you okay, like. I will. Um, and think about instead of putting salt on your veggies at night, mm. maybe you try some crushed red pepper, some garlic powder. Tr garlic change it up a, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you like to shake it. And sometimes we have control um, issues, don't we all? Uh, mm -hmm. But chemically in our body, where we're confusing sodium and potassium because they work together. So if you incorporate more potassium, you got sweet potatoes, bananas, tomatoes, carrot juice. These are all good sources. All of good potassium. sources of potassium. Mm. Bump them up. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my major. Your issue. major one. Crunchy. Okay, crunchy. This is more of like a textural thing. It's like we want to be chewing, right? Yes. So maybe it's not even about food sometimes. Instead of the fat, salt, um, and extra calories of potato chips, try popcorn. For three cups less than 100 calories, you get fiber, put paprika, parmesan. Do you know what I do is I get to the bottom and I just want to crunch the kernels. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, just, I only want the kernels crunch, that will crunch, break my crunch. teeth. I mean, yeah, you all should that invent that, bags of kernels. Right? Bags of almost popped kernels. Mm -hmm. And again, make your own trail mix. You can use the real uh, nuts, real dried fruit, and pop cereal to add some volume and crunch. Huh. It's convenience. Okay. Great. Savory, I know this is another one. Mm -hmm. Some of us are cutting back on the meat and adding more plants into our diet, we're looking for umami. umami. I, call it, I call it yum ami. Mm -hmm. You know, it's what makes things taste really yep. good. There are great sources. Uh, mushrooms are a terrific source of umami. Toasted nuts. We already oh, yeah, know walnuts are, are good flavor. for us for omega threes. If you toast them, it brings out more umami. What's in this patty? And this is one third mushroom and and two thirds burger meat. So you can bring up the and umami. And it looks like it'll fill you up too. Really ah, filling and satisfying. That's a good idea. And finally. Oh yeah, happy hour. So some of us are going dry January or just trying to curb some of our like yeah. alcohol cocktails, uh -huh. always have a special beverage. I mean, plain water is just so plain when it's served in a plain glass. Yep. Plain. Right. Use some of the bitters. It has a little bit of alcohol, but just a few splash, 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 and you've got a good cocktail with uh, sparkling water and the sipping vinegars. How nice. Chocolate. All right, if you want to oh, check out, okay. we have to, I think we have to wrap yes, up. Yes, you're right, you're right. So check, pick up Wendy's book. It's Eat Clean, Stay Lean, The Diet There. Everywhere books are sold. We're going to try all this stuff. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Want more January? Just go to our website at kellyandryan.com.